Hello, YouTube fans and Facebook fans of DX Engineering. It's Friday afternoon here in the eastern part of the USA. It's time for the weekend special. I'm Tim K3LR, your host, and we're going to be talking about a lot of things today. And uh, hopefully, maybe you'll learn something. Um, first thing I want to talk about is uh, I'm going to share my screen here. I want to talk about the Propagation Summit, which is what we've got going on here. And um, so I, I, I want to talk about that. And so let's get up uh, the slides right away. And uh, so if you go to contestuniversity.com, uh, that's where the you can sign up for the free Propagation Summit. And it is... Uh, it's got four great papers that are going to be given tomorrow, and it starts at 11 a.m. Eastern time. And um, so the, the first paper is uh, by W2NAF, and then uh, K9LA, and then at 1 o'clock, it's WA3FET, and at 2 o'clock, it's W3LPL. And as long as you're on Zoom, got to be on Zoom because it's a Zoom webinar, you're on Zoom at the end of W3LPL's talk, one lucky attendee will win a new ICOM IC705, which was donated by ICOM and DX Engineering. So we hope to see everybody that is watching today at the Propagation Summit, because you just might learn something. And we're coming up on the uh, on a new solar cycle peak that'll be here in uh, maybe four years. And uh, I think we're going to get a lot of information about what's going on with propagation now and where we're headed. And so uh, that's gonna be fun. And speaking of propagation, I wanna talk about the reverse beacon network. Now the reverse beacon network uh, operates with the CW skimmers. And we do have CW skimmers here at K3LR and I will explain them as well. But um, I wanna show you, this is the piece of software uh, written by VE3NEA this is the CW skimmer, and basically what it does, and you see the screen uh, down there uh, below, it turns, it takes an SDR radio, software-defined radio, and allows that radio to copy CW signals uh, up to, uh, here at K3LR, we're actually looking at 192 kilohertz of yeah, every band. And uh, so it actually copies the call signs and then we run them against a database to make sure that the call sign makes sense. And then they're sent to the reverse beacon network. And so um, I want to talk uh, about the reverse beacon network. Uh, the reverse beacon network is here. And this is, uh, this is showing all the, uh, there are 190 skimmer receivers that are online at this time. And you can see over here on the right hand side, uh, you see all the call signs of the skimmers all around the world. And if you look here, here's the K3LR skimmer. is currently skimming stations on 160, 80, 40, and 20 meters. There haven't been any skims lately for 15 or 10 meters. But over here shows the skimming station. HA1 VHF has skimmed I1QII on uh, 80 meters. And, oh, we just got into a... Uh, an update here. And then 3RP skimmed into ZUT on 7039. He was 21 dB above the noise and he was sending it 14 words a minute at 2103 Zulu on 22 January. Oh, here's a good spot. Here's Ash, 3 Victor slash KF5 EYY over in Tunisia is on 40 meters on that frequency right now and he's calling CQ. So that's the this is a very intriguing uh, system of network receivers using the internet. And so uh, I want to show you what's going on here at K3LR right now. Now, this is this is the output of just the K3LR uh, SDRs and the, the, the CW skimmers that are here. And it shows you, uh, even has a graphical map here to show you um, with colors. So the 40 meter color is right here. So these are 40 meter stations that we're hearing here at K3LR right now, and they are being reported to the reverse beacon network. And um, 
a 7X 4AN was just received here, and he's on 7016. He's 9 dB above the noise, sending at 21 words a minute. And there is his, um, that's where he is, right there. And you can see here, we're hearing uh, stations down in South America, also in the South Pacific, on 20 meters. That's the 20 meter color. And so um, this, and this is centered right at K3LR. So uh, what you can do, though, is you can go to the K3LR page, which is k3lr.com, and down here you can click on CW Skimmer. Click on CW Skimmer, and now you see the output of the, the, the K3LR CW Skimmer receivers as reported to the reverse beacon network. There's uh, the 7X4AN spot, and uh, but everything is organized. Here's all the frequencies that all these stations are on. And so that gives you a good idea of what DX might be on CW or if the band is open. Um, it can even be used for that. And so, um, uh, but that's, that's very easy to, uh, to see what's going on uh, with the reverse beacon network using the CW skimmers. This is the output of, uh, uh, here, here is another thing. And this is, um, I was on 20 CW this morning and so these skimmers spotted me on 20 CW. I was on 14024 uh, this morning, and uh, W8WWB got me at 11 dB out of the noise and I, uh, 30 words a minute. And so um, this is a great way to measure signal strengths and compare. And so it's it very, very useful. Um, and let's see, this is the, if you go to the reverse beacon network, uh, this is the output, and here are the spotting stations. So you get a real good idea of what's going on there. Um, here is uh, what it looks like at K3LR. This is on the 20-meter receiver, and you can see actually see the dots and dashes of the Morse code. And you can see over here on the right uh, the frequencies of the stations that are calling CQ. And that's, that is what is reported then to the reverse beacon network. And if we take a look at uh, what the hardware looks like uh, here, let's see, we want to go from current slide. So uh, this, this was the first generation of the CW skimmers here at K3LR. And you can see this rack has uh, six computers. These were uh, multi-core, high-performance computers uh, that were hand-built by W9 Papa Alpha. And here are the six Perseus SDR receivers, the power supply to power all this stuff. But as with a lot of things, uh, all the desktops here at K3LR, those big mammoth computers were replaced by Intel Nooks. And now there are six of these Nooks here, which are again, multi-core high performance uh, receivers. And they, each one of those Nooks actually uh, goes to one of these SDR receivers, the Perseus SDRs. And uh, there's a close-up of them. And uh, these are uh, very reliable and very sensitive and have good selectivity. And uh, they are controlled by the NOOCs. And uh, they, are, they are the SDRs that are doing the work for the CW skimmers. And they're hooked to the K3LR antennas. So when you go to k3lr.com and you click on CW Skimmer, you're actually seeing the result of the antenna systems here at K3LR and what we are capable of hearing, what DX at that given time. Um, and there is, uh, and all this data is stored as well. And uh, you can see I like to have ferrite on everything. These, uh, the nooks are pretty uh, RFI quiet, but this is on the power lead. They're 13.8 uh, volt uh, computers. So it's uh, pretty easy to keep them very quiet. And this is the power distribution uh, for all the uh, Nook computers. And uh, these are two linear power supplies. So they're not switching power supplies. They're heavy duty. Uh, they are, you know, commercial grade uh, made by Acupin. And uh, the one up above is uh, the five volts. That's, that is what is powering the Perseus receivers at 5 volts. And then the one down below is the 13.8 uh, the power supply. 
uh, runs 13.8 volts, and that's what powers all the Nook computers. So that gives you an idea of what is uh, kind of going on with some of the things here at K3LR when it comes to CW skimmer. And um, let's see here. I'm going to go up here and uh, stop sharing. But I wanted you... I wanted you to see what CW Skimmer was all about, and uh, hopefully uh, there'll, there will be lots of talk about the Reverse Beacon Network tomorrow at the Propagation Summit. So uh, let's see what's going on here in the chat room, and um, let's see. We've got Oscar Zulu 1 Delta Whiskey X-Ray is on, and Kilo Papa 4 Juliet Radio Sierra, and David uh, Victor Kilo 3 Bravo Delta X-Ray, and Papa Papa 5 Radio Tango, Kilo 4 Papa Delta Mike, Whiskey Delta 8 Juliet Mike, November Charlie 7 Bravo, IK2 Queen Papa Radio, hello Paulo, and IZ3 Sierra Uniform Uniform, and India Uniform 3 Bravo Tango Yankee, and uh, let's see, Luis Kilo Papa 4 Lima Radio is on, and also Delta Kilo 5 Oscar Norway Victor, and uh, and Gunter, uh, I worked Gunter last night on 40 meters. So uh, we've been working uh, Gunter several times. And our friend Sean, KX9X, says the RBN is a valuable tool for us QRPers, helps determine the band openings and identify which band is most efficient for us to be on. And uh, also Alpha Bravo 9 Quebec United is in. And uh, Kilo Lima Zero Sierra Dino. And... Uh, uh, key, well, uh, the nice looking server racks. The server rack is gone now. We don't need it. The Nooks have taken over. So it's uh, all small uh, Intel Nook computers now. Kilo Alpha 7, Mike Delta Mike, and November Alpha 3 Echo, Victor Alpha 3 Echo Bravo Mike, Mike Zero, Hotel Delta Delta. And Sean says, very interesting. WH Sugar, Charlie, Charlie. If you have any questions, I might be able to answer for you about uh, the CW skimmers or the reverse beacon network, they, they sit right behind me. They're, you know This is the 80 meter position here, and then the 40 meter position is back there, but in that closet is where the skimmers live, and they, they never get tired. <laughs> they're, they're constantly feeding data uh, downstream to the reverse beacon network, and of course, uh, we pump that into our contest logging programs, and during contests, um, the K3LR receivers and uh, skimmers around the world are keeping track of all the stations that are on the air. And let's see, we have uh, from Randolph, it's Kilo Echo 8, Charlie Victor Alpha. And uh, Guntor says, it was fun being part of the Friendship Net last night. Thanks for having me there. And Jim Johnson, uh, uh, thanks for the hat. Unfortunately, I also got an invoice for it. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't pay anything for that. Uh, you got an invoice in the box, uh, but it it uh, is zero dollars. Nothing was, you know, we didn't have your credit card or anything. It was a free hat. And uh, Eric, uh, Kilo 4 Fox Alpha November, he likes using his NUC with uh, ham radio. And Reinhardt, uh, who is the uh, owner of RF Kit, Delta Hotel 3, November Alpha Bravo. And uh, Gary says, how do you keep from overloading the skimmers during contests? Well, uh, we do have a, a switching matrix that uh, they temporarily go offline when one of the transmitters on that band is active. So, um, you know, we, we do uh, protect the front ends of the skimmers with the RG5000 uh, as well to make sure that's the DX engineering receiver protector. And good afternoon uh, from Marion, Ohio, Alpha Charlie 8 X-ray un uniform. And uh, Steve says, does DX engineering sell RBN packages? Uh, no, uh, that's Victor Kilo 3 Kilo Tango Tango. You can go right to the, just uh, Google reverse beacon network and uh, you can go right to the site. We do we do sell the red Pattaya SDR receiver that is available and uh, Bob N6 TV has been uh, putting together uh, CW skimmer packages that Yasmi has been sending all over the world and uh, he uses the red Pattaya as well 
and maybe we'll have Bob on. That, that might be a good idea, Steve, to talk about uh, how he assembled all the Yasme stuff together. Um, and then we have, uh, let's see here, Kilo 3 Echo Fox Sierra says, thanks for the hat. And uh, another one of the uh, 50 hat giveaway that we did uh, here a few weeks ago. And I think we even did a few last uh, Thursday as well. You never know when we might give something away. It, it could happen. But I do know one thing. You want to be a part of the Propagation Summit tomorrow. And uh, because we're going to be giving away an ICOM IC705, one of the hottest radios going. Um, the 7300 and the 705 are neck and neck. Uh, boy, guys and uh, gals are buying them up and getting on the air and having fun with ham radio. And uh, so last chance for questions about the CW Skimmer or the Reverse Beacon Network. We've got Whiskey 2, Whiskey Alpha Tango in here. And uh, next week, uh, after the Propagation Summit tomorrow, we'll have uh, Tuesdays with Tim and Jeff. We'll be uh, at 1.15 p.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday. And then, of course, we have another Manufacturer Showcase coming up on Thursday. And uh, then we'll be back here for the weekend special, uh, where it'll be uh, just before the CQ160 the CQ Worldwide 160 CW contest. And Bob WD8NVN says thanks for the hat, and he will attend the Propagation Summit tomorrow. So that's what we have for this time. Get on the air, have some fun, and I hope to see you at the Propagation Summit tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. Eastern Time. For now, 73, 73 from DX Engineering.